Well, with all the rain we're getting today, we're taking a break from the high heat, but it's a different story in the kitchen. From Scotch Bonnet's restaurant and catering, you know it's going to be hot. Janet Davis is here with great tips on nice barbecuing. Day. That's right. Janet, that's great right. to see you again. I'm here. Good to see you. All right, it might be a kind of tough call to barbecue today. I but know. But this is a good day for planning. You could also bring it inside. You can bring it. Oh, okay, very good. And we're going to create some dips for barbecue, is that right? Yes, we are. We have three great tropical dips uh, ready for you. We have a balsamic vinaigrette, pomegranate. And the way you make that is you take your, pro your pomegranate juice... And everybody's into pomegranate now. Yeah, what is it? I guess the antioxidants, It's, it's very right? good for you. Loaded with antioxidants. Now, if you heat it up, do the antioxidants survive? I yes. think they do. I think they do. Okay. Yes, they do. We're going to add some good brown sugar, right? Mm -hmm. And then, to kick that off, some balsamic vinegar. And that's going to give it a nice, tart, sharp taste. If I can get this thing open. Want some help with that? Yep. I can spin it just like you can. I think, like it's, it's, I think, not, I think it's just it's spinning. Be off. careful, yeah. All right, maybe it doesn't. Oh, ah, that's why. Likes him better. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't screw up. And you get off, a little bit of that off. in there. there you and you're basically doing one part uh, pomegranate and a half part balsamic vinegar because okay, it's so starch. Be that so that's going to get uh, boiling in a little bit, mm -hmm. and you're going to let that reduce for about 10 minutes to a syrupy consistency. Once it cools, then you whisk in some olive oil. Okay. Right. So and that's so, the first one. While that's heating up, that's the up, first one. While that's going, on the second one. Let's go on to our classic Caribbean dip, and this is Caribbean because it has a lot of heat to it, a lot of fire. Those Scotch bonnet peppers. So you add some tomato. Uh, did you add some Scotch bonnet peppers in there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's the real deal. I some can... some of that. Add some water. Right. Because we want to bring it up and let it go back down. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. Uh, some allspice. Now, if it gets too hot for somebody, is there something they can do to moderate? Or is That's that... the great thing about uh, making stuff at home. You dictate what your palate can take. If you're a mild guy, you put a little bit. If you're hot and spicy like I am, you put a whole pepper in. Why did you, you know? say? Why did you look at me when you said mild if you're guy? You're a mild guy. Well, you're oh, a guy. It, you're standing right next to me. But you could be hot and spicy too. You know, whatever you Thank like. You. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> And so a little browning, and this, I get a lot of questions about this all the time. A little what? Browning. It's I've called browning. It's like a coloring agent. Think of soy sauce without the salt. It's almost like a caramel, just to give it that darker color. So just to, to darken up the, the just sauce. Just to darken up the tomato sauce. Do a, a, a barbecue sauce that's darker than versus We lighter? like things dark in Jamaica. We're very partial <laughs> to the dark stuff. So that, and then some ground. Dark uh, rum. Dark rum. There you go. Yep. Speaking of rum, I brought along some coconut rum cake as well. You know, this is one of your specialties, isn't it? Yes, it is. Coconut I am... rum cake, is this available to be... Yes, it is. I have some for the audience, actually. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. My original rum cake. I am known for my original rum cake. And I just right rolled out. Um, is, it, is this it? That is Wait, some I, coconut rum it cake. seems to be a piece missing. I, sto I, I stole a piece. Wait, you did? That you was me. Had, I, sa I, I sampled, uh -huh. you know. You never know. And so you get that in there, and that's going to reduce, right? And mm -hmm. then that's going to reduce for about 30 minutes. Okay. It's going to get thick, and then you can refrigerate it that lasts for about a week. You, you put so, did you put cloves, or is it allspice that went in there? Allspice. Allspice. All spice. Smell Ground, all, it smells good, doesn't Wonderful it? Wonderful smell. And then we can't forget our secret ingredient. Again, scotch bonnet peppers, one of the hottest in the world. What do you Hotter like? than jalapeno. Do you just throw that in their hole? or you... Well, me, I would, but, you know, these gentle people, I won't scare them off like oh, now that. Now, they're mild. They're mild. <laughs> I'm hot. So just a tad, yes. and that's going to reduce, and it's going to get the flavor out right. of the pepper. If you don't know how much to use, you just use a small portion. Like anything else, you, whenever you're cooking and you're trying your hand at something All new, right. start small. You can always add, but it's always difficult to take out, right? So we have our pomegranate going. We have our classic barbecue dip, mm -hmm. and we're going to move on to our last recipe, which is our island seafood salsa. All right. Right? We're going to take some pineapple core. And in the chef tip, if you recall the chef tip, I use the core of the pineapple. If you're using the pineapple at home and you always throw out the peels and things like that, 
save the inside. It's edible. There's lots you can do with it. It's hmm. perfect. You have to chop it up fine? Chop it up fine. In order to use it, otherwise it'd be tough to chew through, I would think. It's actually not that tough because the more the pineapple ripens, it's the softer this gets. So it's a little harder than the pineapple itself, right? And this is going to be a seafood salsa. It's a seafood salsa. No cooking necessary. So you chop up some uh, pineapple. Mm -hmm. Let's do a bit more if we have time. You know, there, there are different pineapples to choose from. Low acid or more acidic pineapples. Does it matter which one you use? I like acidic. And the more acidic it is, the longer it lasts, so too. You, know, just you know what I mean? You like hot and I spicy like, um, and, and something acidic. I say go all the way. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> but hey, that's just me. Okay, so we toss in some pineapple, right? Then you want to add some tomato. And again, you're going to dice your stuff up too. Again, now, you're we're... actually going to add seafood to this, or is this to put on this seafood? Is, this is to put on seafood. It's a nice citrusy uh, salsa. As you know, uh, seafood dishes go great with lemon and lime uh -oh. and that sort Got of thing. some bowling going over here. Do oh, I need good. to do anything? Oh, no, you I want think me to spin? I you want me to whisk? You can whisk. Incorporate it as you go. Do whisk? I need to whisk or are you just, uh, just humoring me? Whisk. Okay. Because <laughs> my wife at home, she said, go ahead, stir. You don't need to, but you might as well. You'll stay out of my well, hair. That's right. You might as well. You're standing right there. So we get some of that in there. And then you add some scallion. You just chop fine, real fine scallion. Yeah. Right? You know, I feel like I'm getting one of those instant facials that Luann was talking about a minute ago. Nice and steamy, huh? But does it smell good? It does. Any minute now, Barbara Walters and Neil Patrick Harris will be coming in. Ah! Right? Okay, and so you get that in. You add some uh, thyme leaves, mm -hmm. dried thyme leaves. Mm -hmm. Right? Luann, you come on some... over here and get one an instant facial with me. Lemon oh. juice. I know. I just want to eat. Some mango. Well, this smells really good all of a Doesn't sudden. Doesn't it? Oh, it's I'm great. I'm telling you, lemon juice is amazing. Or you can use lime, too, if you like a little tartar. Can I, I like it tart. But oh, you're going to try Oh, can you've I? got some over here can prepared. Can I dig in? Oh, yeah. You're hiding that for dig me. Dig in. Yeah, go for it. I'm, I'm like... Oh, and then you I, just add some not, lemon. Mm, mm. Wow. Isn't that good? It's wonderful. It really is. I've never seen anyone use a pineapple core like you did. I know. Before. People always toss it out. Right. It's, it's edible. It's, it's not like it's the skin. No, it's nobody, totally you know edible. Nobody ever taught us that before. Well, I'm teaching We've you now. We've been waiting for you, Janet, to come and teach us that. Little salt. Uh-oh. You're I'm, going for I'm, the full barbecue. So this is the, uh, this is the dark, rich barbecue sauce that that's going to try the right dark now. barbecue sauce that's this guy that's reducing and after about 25 30 minutes Ooh. this is what you get oh. all right well, isn't that good it's if, if it's the recipe it's... you want Ooh. if you, mm. it's the recipe you want the place to get it is our web page just I visit nbcphiladelphia.com search 10 show recipes you'll see it printed out there and you'll also see the video of janet davis from scotch bonnets in west in hampton west hampton new jersey put it together and i'm going to steal a little of this of this Coconut rum cake? I hope you can handle your liquor. It's mm. very rummy. That is an really rummy. Excellent. <laughs> Our audience will love it. Thank you, Janet. Anytime. I just got my whole face in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We'll be right back with more of the 10 show.